What's up, YouTube? You're checking out the Frequent Flyer, and uh, i like to welcome you guys back to my RC Chop Shop. But this time, uh, this is actually not a Chop Shop episode. I just wanted to show you guys something that happened, and it does involve a little modding, though. Um, but here we are with the Ishin X6 Hexacopter. Now, you guys might be familiar with this. Um, this was formerly uh, my uh, <laughs> formerly my favorite hexacopter in the micro size, and this thing is just awesome. And as as a matter of fact, this thing was on sale uh, Cyber Monday. You were able to get this for fifteen dollars. The sale even ran a little after it. I, I don't know if right now you can get this thing for fifteen dollars now. Sixteen dollars, um, but anyhow, I ran into a problem with the one that I have. I did order uh, another one of these, uh, by the way, um, for that sixteen dollars. Just couldn't pass that up. But anyhow, my this one here, I ran into a problem after having this for so long. Out of the blue, uh, all of a sudden, it just stopped working. Uh, with the lipo that I have. There's nothing wrong with the lipo. I've tested the lipo and everything. Uh, but it seems that this lipo um, just didn't have enough power to power this any longer. And it's not because of the lipo. Because the lipo still charges and has good battery life. I've tested it with the uh, some of my other aircraft. But it's just uh, the hexacopter is demanding more power from it. When I plug it in, it the lights turn on and all, but when I try to take off with it, it'll just fall out of the air. <laughs> it'll just uh, turn off. Um, every time I try to give it a throttle or if I try to do a flip or do something strenuous on the uh, motors and bat drain and battery, uh, when it needs that burst of power, it just turns off as if this isn't enough power. And so um, that made me think um, maybe to tr it needs more power. Maybe I should try a 7.4 volt battery. So I use this battery. This is one of my batteries uh, from the DM007. This is one of my spares. So I actually plugged this in. And uh, this I was thinking that it might uh, be too much power and burn, burn the system out or something. Um, shorted or overloaded or blow the ESCs or something, but I plugged this thing up and it it was happy with the power. <laughs> and this thing, man, it gives it a lot of punch. Um, it wasn't acting the way that it was acting with this anymore. It's uh, and it's just very powerful with using this two uh, S seven point four volt uh, lipo here. So. What I did is I did a little mod here. Um, the little part, uh, there's a little uh, wall there um, that was holding. Um, well, it wasn't really doing anything. There was just a little wall there because the, the battery is square. So it just fits in there like that snug. So what I did was I cut that little wall out, that piece, and pulled it out. Here it is here. And um, made it so this can fit snug in there now and so now this thing runs <laughs> well it fits it's a little tight to get out but it's for the most part it fits in there you just have to push the wires back a little before you stick it in I know that's what she said <laughs> but anyhow you just it can get in there now I was uh, using this rubber band to rubber band it on but now it seems like uh I could use a little more room here. I'm thinking maybe I might make a cut there or something to give me a little more room so I don't have to uh, force it so hard to get it in here. Um, but for the most part, this thing runs on a 2S 7.4 volt LiPo now. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Man, yeah, I'm going to have to make more space in here. This thing is... Uh, too tight to get in and out uh, but yeah i just wanted to show you guys this and let's check it out and see this thing in flight 
see how much punch and everything it has with this 2S light bulb. Uh, 7.4 volts from the DM007. Okay, so we're out here with the Isheen X6 with the 2S 7.4 volt light bulb. Fly this thing to Devo. It's a little cold out here, so I hope that doesn't affect the battery too much. All right, protocol. Skywalker. <laughs> you can see this thing is punchy, man. Check it out. <laughs> man. Sheesh. <laughs> it's a little windy out here, too. I didn't kick the throttle up yet. I'm trying to get it straight. Let's see, let's go from a standstill. I ordered some new ones too, so. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna try the regular YD717 protocol on here. Let me check, let me switch it. Just on Skywalker now. I don't like how it yaws with the aileron. Okay, let's see if it still does that. Okay, it's cool now. Better control with it now. Oh, but it's acting weird on this protocol. <laughs> Knew it was the reason why I kept it on Skywalker all the time. Looks like this thing is covering a manhole or something. <clears throat> Get that. <clears throat> We're back on Skywalker. <laughs> now let me show you guys that. Now I'm giving side aileron and it's giving some y'all with it. And I don't know how to change that. Oh, another thing with, I'm not gonna fly it too long, I guess, with this 2S. Um, 7.4 volt LiPo in here because for whatever reason, it just let it flip. <laughs> For whatever reason, the um, the LVC warning is non-existent now. <laughs> yeah, and it's getting a little weak too. It doesn't have the punch that it had before. So let's try to see if we can get it back to our landing post. Oh, couldn't make it. <laughs> So that's it, a demo of this Isheen X6 on a 2S 7.4 volt LiPo. Thanks for watching.